Welcome back to another video. Today I'm drinking lemon water. Very healthy, very refreshing. And today I want to talk about mental health, being that it is Mental Health Awareness Month. And originally I wasn't going to talk about this. I was going to talk about social media and comparing yourself to other people on social media and kind of the effects of that, which ties into mental health. But being that it's Mental Health Awareness Month, I wanted to make a video just for that. And I know that when people hear the word mental health, they automatically think of depression. And I understand that. And I want to talk about depression a little bit. I was just watching, it's Sunday, so I was just watching one of my favorite channels, Abundant Life TV. And he was talking about depression. And I said, I have to make a video about this and just talk about it from my angle and you know my personal experience i think it'll be i think it's important that more people talk about it number one and that more people kind of you know bring awareness to it and and teach people how to deal with it understand that it's okay it's normal it's natural to battle with your mental health so it just hit automatically that i could not sleep at night and it was either I couldn't sleep at night or I would wake up in the middle of the night trembling. And I didn't understand where this was coming from. I didn't know that it was because of what I was experiencing. I thought it was just coming from nowhere because I've dealt with that before. So I'm thinking it's just something I just got to get over as a phase. But I realized that no, it was being triggered by something that was happening in my life at that time. So I wasn't sleeping at night or either I was shaking in the middle of the night. And then this was while I was living at school. And so I think somewhere between there, I ended up going home. And usually when, I come, when I'm home, I'm excited. I'm happy about being home, but I just remember being home and I woke up and I didn't feel right. I didn't feel right. I didn't feel the the desire to get out of bed, the desire to eat anything, the desire to drink anything, the desire to look at myself in the mirror. And I was so confused on why I was feeling this way. And I, I thought maybe I'm just sick, maybe I have a stomach bug, maybe I have a little nauseous, this will pass. But then it just mentally, it felt like my mind was so clouded and it just felt like if I wanted to do anything, it would take everything in me just to get up and put some clothes on because I didn't feel like doing it. And I just remember thinking, something's not right. Something is imbalanced in my mind and I don't know how I'm going to fix this. I don't know what I'm going to do. I tried everything, I but I just knew that I wasn't myself. And I ended up actually going somewhere or doing something with like an old friend of mine and I, when we when we were done hanging out I ended up telling him telling that friend um I've been depressed <laughs> I've been depressed and the person said I could tell that your energy was off I could tell something was wrong with you and come to find out that person was also depressed and together you're on the phone talking about how we're how are we going to find a therapist how are we going to talk to our parents about this knowing that we wanted to talk to a therapist or a psychiatrist that was black and less than four percent of mental health professionals are black and that was a struggle especially trying to find a therapist or a mental health counselor in the atlanta area i don't know it was just but just to know that he was also depressed and had been going through depression and we kind of just leaned on each other for you know during that time but I just remember not feeling like myself and this was around the holidays so I remember it was Thanksgiving and usually I don't, who, who doesn't love Thanksgiving who doesn't love Christmas but I just remember you know being at my grandmother's house and still being there physically I was there physically but spiritually or not is that what I'm looking for spiritually my soul was was way in a dark place I was there I remember eating on Thanksgiving but just my spirit was just so dead. I didn't feel like myself. And I remember telling my brother, I am sick, something's wrong. My brother is two years younger than me, but we're pretty close. I'm like, something's wrong. 
I think I want to go see a psychologist because when you feel that depressed, you don't you don't know how you're going to get out of it. And so my brother kind of had his own little view on mental health help and antidepressants. But I later just, I think I ended up going back to school. And I think like the break was over, I went back to school and I still had these anxious thoughts, still didn't have any appetite, still just didn't feel like myself. And so I remember researching depression and realizing that, okay, I'm depressed right now. And I, I even met with one of our mental health counselors and that when I met, with, I, I met with her because I knew I needed to talk to someone and that was available, that was free. And I just remember doing that session of breaking down crying and never went back. I should, not have, I should have gone back, but I couldn't. I mean, I broke down crying. I don't know if I just wasn't ready. I don't know. But I went back to school. I researched depression and I realized, okay, I'm dealing with depression. I'm dealing with anxiety. Okay. I've accepted that. And I said, I realized that there was a way for me to get out of it other than antidepressants. There was a way for me to to get out of it, to to feel like myself again. And so luckily, my family member ended up getting better. And I, you know, as my family member progressed in his health, I progressed in my mental health. But it was a dark, dark road. And I had never experienced that before. And I would always hear people talk about depression, anxiety. I'm thinking, what, what does that mean? What, what does that even feel like? How could you ever feel like that? Why, do you, why are you in a bad mood? Why do you need to take antidepressants? What is that? But like I said, humbled. Like I said in my last video, being humbled, understanding that you could, and I, I was talking to my counselor and understanding that when, when things happen in life, life events that can trigger your, your depression. And it's not saying that, oh, you're, you're clinically depressed, but we're humans. We have emotions. We are not robots. And the thing that bothered me so much, or I think that, that definitely bothered me was just that, you know, I wasn't seeing anybody else around me react the way I was reacting. So I felt as though something's wrong with me because I'm reacting this way. Oh, I'm being too dramatic. I remember actually, like I said, I ended up going back to school and I remember I said, I, I researched a way to still get out of it, but I still was not eating. I was still shaking. I, I ended up losing a lot of weight. And it was about a week or so before Christmas and I was still at school and I remember I called my brother and I said, you know, I need to come home. And somebody had to come pick me up. I said, I need to come home. I remember that day I had, had I, I cried all day. I had mental breakdowns. I couldn't do anything. And I said, you know, I'm here alone, but I need to be with family. And I told my brother to come and get me. And this is not to put anybody on blast, but uh, long story short, that just didn't go well. A lot of times when you're feeling a certain way, people don't understand it if they haven't been there themselves. And so people may try to say you're being dramatic, you're overreacting, everything is okay. But but you know what, what you needed, what's best for you. And I knew in that moment that I needed to be at home. I needed to be surrounded by, by, by people that loved me, by my family. And that's what I needed. And um, something that, that we need to talk about more is just mental health in the black community and understanding it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you're weak. It doesn't mean any of that, guys. It's, it's, it's normal, it's natural. Like I said, we're human beings. And if you need help, seek help. I remember wanting to tell, I, did, I think I did tell my mom, I said, I'm going through depression. And I was telling her like, maybe we should find somebody for me to talk to. But there are resources out there. There are resources out there. I know there's black girl, no, there's Therapy for Black Girls. It's an Instagram account where you can find therapists. There's BetterHelp. And I have been trying. Eventually, I'll get to the point where I, I go on and I find someone to talk to. Because, guys, you want to see a mental health professional not when you need help with your mental health. Not when your mental health is in jeopardy. Seeing a mental health professional once a month while you're healthy is... Is good. It's normal. It's natural. That's what you should do. Don't wait until something tragic happens to go see it to go see a psychiatrist. That's not what you should do. Or a therapist. I know who I was talking about earlier. Abundant Life TV. <laughs> Abundant Life TV. Rebecca and Carrie Pope are a married couple, but they individually have their own therapist, their own counselors that they see, and that's what that's what you should do. It's healthy. 
don't you know just because you go and see someone doesn't mean that something's wrong with you it's very it's 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 just so crazy to me how much we don't normalize speaking about our feelings and what for me personally when i was going through what i was going through i did not speak to my friends about it because somewhere in my childhood i learned that you don't want to be that person that's always talking about your problems you don't want to be that that person that that's 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 um trying to let it out to your friends because you'll be judged or they'll look at you a certain way or they'll think that you're weak and so what did i do i bottled it in and what did that do for me that made me so sick that's why i have so much anxiety because i'm shaking because i have all of these thoughts and emotions inside of me that i'm not telling anybody about it and i should have and that's what my counselor actually told me that i should have spoken to somebody about it even if i wasn't doing that i should have journaled about it but don't ever keep it bottled in don't have so much pride to where you're, you're keeping your feelings and emotions bottled in that's that's not healthy at all and so i want to encourage you today to not even just to see a mental health professional for your own good but just to check in with yourself mentally and figure out how are you doing mentally what are you battling with are you a little bit sad are you a little bit blue are you a little bit lost are you a little bit anxious oh my earring you know what are you what are you anxious about how can you fix that what can you do who can you talk to you know sit with yourself and figure that out and and and, and remind your loved ones and your friends that you're there for them that you're there for them um when and um and when they need to talk to someone remind them that you're there for them i'm sorry i don't it's not working remind them remind your loved ones and your friends that you're there for them i remember one of my friends this was years ago texted me and told me that she was depressed and i told her like okay if you need someone to talk to i'm here i could have done more but and i told my friend that i did that and my friend my other friend said that that's not going to help her you you need, if you want to help someone that's going through something mentally be active about it I should have called her. I could have written her a card. I could have brought her flowers. Anything just to show, you know, be active. Because when you tell someone that, oh, I'm here for you if you need to talk about it, they, we don't believe that, okay? We, we don't believe that. But still, like I said, check on your loved ones. Let them know you're here for them. Or if you want to be active, give your friends a card. You know, send your friends text messages and, and, and give them flowers and all of that. Because you just never know what someone's battling, what someone is going through, and that's you know you you never know it. But it's important for you to know what you're what you're battling in your mind, and not try to be in denial or to avoid it or to cover it up with all the vices. It's important for you to accept what you're going through mentally, because that is the first step for you to heal from it. And don't think that you don't have to heal from it because you have to heal from it in order to learn, in order to love others. And if you don't heal from it, that will stop you from loving others and from, from, from reaching other blessings and reaching other people in new heights. You have to be healed. You have to be a very healed person. So that is just my little story on um, mental health, depression, how I first experienced it. And I want to just keep you guys aware about, about mental health. Keep stay educated on mental health. Um, so, uh, I think what eighteen percent of Americans deal with depression or mental health issues or addiction, and so it's very real. It's very, uh, it's very real, and it's very what's the word I'm looking for? Frequent. So don't ever think that it's not, and just pay attention. Pay attention um, because mental health is very serious, and so. Whew, That is all for that's my message for today. I thank you for watching, listening, learning, inspiring, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs>